So what I ended the previous video with and uh, still wanted to come back to is uh, um, let's try to come up with a function where this uh, frequency actually changes with um, respect to time and so the simplest way to do that is instead of having a function where the sign depends on the time which gives us the frequency let's have it just depend on the time squared so that is almost as if the frequency increases linearly with time. Uh, now this is a part of a differential equation so it doesn't work exactly like that it will have an impact on the amplitude as well which will then go like one over the time um, but at least it allows us to get that frequency to change more quickly so what I've done here is now I'm going to simulate this um, frequency that uh, changes as a function of time between zero and one between zero and ten and I had to change to ten because at, as soon as we get to larger frequencies um, this starts to oscillate very quickly and the steps get really small um, so that takes a while but I can plot this now and as you can see um, in the beginning we take steps that are approximately one in size but as we go and start to oscillate much more quickly here um, we end up having a very sm a very closely spaced points here um, but large uh, widely spaced time points here of course we don't have an exact solution for this um, or at least I haven't tried to come up with one um, so I can't tell you I can't show you that this also is all within the tolerance um, that uh, um, that that we've set for this function the 10 to the minus 6 but uh, but it is by definition of um, how we uh, how we solve this solution from uh, from one step to the next okay so that's the one thing I still wanted to show um, the next video will be about going beyond first-order differential equations, so going to second-order differential equations.